You know what, mate? Beaumont doesn't win this raffle. You are in dead trouble. Well, he can hardly fail. He has 99% of the tickets. Oh, Stuart Clark, have you got any of those Hawaii tickets left? No, I'm sorry, old boy. I've sold out. Oh, really? Oh, unless, of course, you'd like to make a little down payment on something rather exciting I have lined up for Christmas. Well, I'm sorry, old mate, but Nurse Patterson really isn't my type. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, Stuart Clark, let's have this raffle. Yes. Right, yes. Miss Franklin, you can draw the lucky number. Right, what do I have to do? Just shake them up a bit. <laughs> you got the tickets. <laughs> Good luck, Professor. Oh, thank you, Griffin. Here, here, take some of these tickets and help me find the winning number. All right. It must be there somewhere. <laughs> uh, don't drop them, you fool. Right, right. right. All right, sure, Clark, get on with it. Oh. Linda, please. Thank you, my dear. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The winning ticket for the holiday in Hawaii is... Yes, get on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> 137. 137. Who has won? Well, 137. We won. No, 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 what do you mean you haven't won? I mean I haven't got the ticket. Anyone got a 137? No, it doesn't seem to be here, sir. It must be. Who's got 137? 137. 137. Oh. I'm terrified, sir. But Mummy and I seem to be going to Hawaii. <laughs> After such a serious operation, a period of conv oh, of oh, uh, convalescence <laughs> and strict and and strict diet is is required, and I I <laughs> recommend that this patient has a daily intake intravenously of two pounds of stewing steak, some uh, potato salad, and a cup of tea. I had to go shopping. There's no food in at your place. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice of you, mate. Thanks a lot. That's all right. I'll put it down on your account. Shut <laughs> up. I've got to finish off these notes. Hospital Regulation 63B states that time will not be spent doing notes if other circumstances take priority. What other circumstances? Well, the bar's open. Is it? Yes. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. <laughs> Linda, we'll finish those off in the morning. Hey, Dick, i tell you what your mate phoned from the travel agency. He said, would you call in and see him? Yes, I have to go in there anyway to pick up the hotel reservations and the air tickets for Griffin's Hawaiian holiday. They say you couldn't forget to book that return trip. Well, I can't imagine mighty Morris on the beach in Hawaii. Perhaps his surfboard will go down with all hands. <laughs> you see what he's saying, you know? Look, take the order, books, piles of notepaper, files. Do you know what he's doing? He's going to spend his time researching at the Hawaiian Institute for Tropical Diseases. Maybe he'll catch one. <laughs> Come on, mate. Valuable time being wasted. To the bar. Yeah, yeah. You're going to drown your troubles. Hmm? No, just uh, teach him how to swim. <laughs> Sport. Soon be dead, then all your problems will be over. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't feel very well. Yeah, you look like you ought to be in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> What'll it be then? Uh, port and brandy? I'd have a peppermint cordial, please. <laughs> oh, Hello. Oh, a large one. Yeah, what's the matter? Well, we just had a telegram from the Hawaiian's Native Women's Institute. It said, Please tell us when the beach silver bird in the sky bring the great rumpy pumpy man Griffin, cos he am so hunky. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Forget it. What's the matter? He's feeling a bit crook. Really? Yes, he does look rather ill, doesn't he? Sort of sallow, as if he's in pain. Uh, he always looks like that. Hello, hello, hello. There's nobody there. Oh. <laughs> I think it's psychological, you know, some inner turmoil. Mm, now, what would you prescribe for inner turmoil, <laughs> Bicarbonate? True. Mm. If you'll just leave me alone, I'll be perfectly all right. Oh, fine. Oh, Terribly right. sorry I asked in the first place. Oh, if you ruined me, I will just ignore you. Morris! Morris! You all right? Good Lord, I must have one of those. <laughs> Two peppermint cordials, please. <laughs> I haven't touched you yet. Oh. 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 Ah, yes. Very nasty. Yes, no doubt about it. Acute appendicitis. Mm. Well, thank you very much, it's sir. It'll have to come out. Uh, Waring, get on to the theatre sister immediately and organize it. Yes, sir. Is there anything I can do, sir? There most certainly is, Stuart. Your Clark. word is my command, sir. All right, you are. Organize another draw for the raffle. We'll mm. use the same tickets as last time. 
There's no way he's going to Hawaii. <laughs> Just as well I kept my tickets, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, Linda, have you seen Duncan this morning? Yes, he came in first thing, finished his notes, and then went off somewhere. And I'm not talking to you. It's raining in Hawaii anyway. <laughs> I bought those for Dr. Griffin. Yeah, well, they're bad for his appendix. He doesn't have one anymore. I know it's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh, Professor Beaumont left it for Dr. Griffin. Well, that's very nice of him. What is it? Pickle gherkin? Dr. Griffin's appendix. <laughs> <laughs> I won't keep you any longer. I'll um, just go along and see Griffin, and I'll take your grapes, too. It'll save you a journey. No, hold on. What am I going to give him? <laughs> I'm told they're delicious with garlic. <laughs> There we are, Dr. Griffin. Ah, you'll soon be as good as new. <coughs> Am I out of danger, sister? Yes, of course. <laughs> Professor Beaumont did a marvellous job. Uh, oh, he's a wonderful <coughs> surgeon, isn't he? So talented. Yes. I only wish I could have been there. <laughs> Just ring if you need anything. Uh, oh, sister, come. Uh, no. <laughs> Hello, Griffin. I've been all over Sydney to find you these grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. I'm still too weak to eat them, of course. Oh, really? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> you know, I'd have been in before, but I had to go to the travel agents about your ticket. Oh, who won the rifle? Who's getting my ticket? I think it's really bad that you can't go on that holiday, you know, just because you're in here. I think you should have the whole thing cancelled, and I'll fix you up with something later in the year. Why? Well, I think it's damned unfair of Beaumont to deprive you of your first prize. Oh, I get it. <laughs> You don't like Professor Beaumont, and he has won my ticket to Hawaii, and you don't want him to have it. Well, it won't wash with me, Stuart Clark. And what's more, you can tell Professor Beaumont from me that Dr. Griffin said goodbye and bon voyage. <laughs> well, actually, Beaumont didn't win. Oh? Who did? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Hang in ten there. Hey, right. Oh, Beaumont's still slumped in the office in defeat. Where's my ticket, then? I'm off. Well, I'm afraid he's not quite like that, old boy. Oh, no, no, no. Here I come. Bum, 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 bum. Why not? Have you read this morning's paper? Huh? No. Oh, no, no, no. Here I come. <laughs> uh, I bought all the gear. Yeah, I'm afraid he's gone out of business. No tickets, no holiday. No tickets. No tickets. No holiday. No holiday. <laughs> no wacky, wacky, wacky. <laughs> no wacky, wacky, wacky booba. So, <laughs> <laughs> Clark. Yes? You're about to die. What? No! No! Very slowly. Sister! And very painfully. Sister. I'm going to pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> 